بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد. So many times we sit, and not every gathering we sit is up to what we want. Sometimes we have to accept invitations. Sometimes we have to socialize with people, and sometimes they say things that are inappropriate. Not that I endorse it, but this is how things are. So, chapter 85, supplication for the expiation of sins said at the conclusion of sitting or a gathering, etc. The Prophet ﷺ taught us what to say. So, just before we conclude the meeting or the gathering, we have to say this dua. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك. Beautiful dua. The Prophet used to say it whenever he concludes a gathering. He used to say it after praying. He used to say it after finishing reciting the Quran. And lots of the Muslims don't know this. So what is this dua? It translates to سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك. Glory be to you, and I praise you. Or, how perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance. This is known as kafaratul majlis. Memorize it and use it as much as you can, but in Arabic, of course. The following chapter, returning a supplication of forgiveness. What does that mean? If someone says to you, may Allah forgive you, as in the hadith where a companion said to the Prophet غفر الله لك يا رسول الله May Allah forgive you, O Messenger of Allah. What should we reply? We should reply as the Prophet did والسلام, and that is الدعاء لمن قال غفر الله لك ولك May Allah forgive you, you say, and you. And this is also the same when someone says, as in the following chapter, supplication said to the one who does you a favor. When someone does you a favor, what do you say? Jazakallahu khayra. May Allah reward you with goodness. And when you say this, what should he reply to you? Wa jazak. It's the same thing. You don't have to say the whole long version. Rather, you take part of it. You say, walak, or wajazak, or wa'iyak. This is sufficient in reply to any dua a person makes for you. And by the way, we have to reciprocate. When someone says, jazakallahu khayran, you don't just, you don't just say, sure, no problem, no. You reciprocate, wajazak, meaning may Allah reward you as well. And you also say this because this is the highest form of praising. As the Prophet said, when someone does you a favor and you say jazakallahu khayran, you have rewarded him with the highest form of praising. The following chapter, protection from the Dajjal the Antichrist. And if you remember, at the conclusion of the Salat, before the Salam, we were taught to ask or seek refuge in Allah from four things, and um, among them is the trial of the Dajjal. However, in Hadith 199, <laughs> The Prophet says, والسلام, whoever memorizes the first 10 verses of Surah Al-Kahf will be protected from the Dajjal. And one should also seek refuge with Allah from the tribulation of the Dajjal as we've indicated and stated earlier in supplications number 55 and 56.
at the conclusion of your prayer. And the following chapter deals with supplication said to the one who pronounces his love for you, for Allah's sake. So, so many times we, I get this so often, people say to me, I love you for the sake of Allah. What should I say? Good for you. No, this is not the sunnah. The sunnah is to reciprocate. So when someone says, I love you for the sake of Allah, and mind you that he should be of the same gender. And this is problematic because some females may come up to a da'i or a scholar and she says, Oh, Shaykh, I love you for the sake of Allah. This is totally haram. He's of the opposite gender. He's an unmahram. What are you doing? Praising people like this is totally unacceptable in Islam. If a man comes to me and says, I love you for the sake of Allah, reciprocating would be to say, as in Hadith 200, أحبك الذي أحببتني له. May he, that is Allah, for whom you have loved me, love you. أحبك الذي أحببتني له. So, you loved me for the sake of Allah. I pray to Allah that he loves you as well for the love you have for me. And this is the way to reciprocate and to express your gratitude for someone who expressed his love for you. This is all the time we have. Until we meet next time, I leave you for Amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.